Tomorrow's Workplace, the Essential Ingredients. That's the theme of the 2010 IADC SPE Drilling Conference being held in this lovely city of New Orleans. Beginning, it began on the 2nd of February. It's past Tuesday, just prior to Super Bowl, as a matter of fact, so it's a very festive spirit in the town. Uh, hi, I'm Mike Kilalia with IADC and drillingcontractor.org, and I'm here with the chairman of the 2010 IADC SPE Drilling Conference, Mr. Bob Bloom, who uh, recently retired from NOV, National Oil Well Barco, as Chief Technology Officer after 40 years on the job. And uh, Bob's a very gracious gentleman. He's agreed to spend a little time with us and talk about the conference and what it might mean for uh, some of us in the industry. So, Bob, what can you tell us about some of the high points of, uh, of this event that we're going to have? Well, you have? mentioned the theme, Mike, and our theme was developed on what uh, going into the future would, would the industry have to uh, really look at and, and, and pay considerable attention to. And we came up with three primary uh, areas of thought, one being technology, that uh, technology what uh, enables us to be more efficient, and how do we integrate technology into our daily activities, and of course people, and uh, the people uh, develop into a theme of uh, tomorrow's uh, young people, how do we develop them, how do we pass this knowledge on to them, and, uh, and the third area is automation. Is automation really delivering on what we expected it to deliver in the market? And these three areas, technology, uh, uh, the young uh, workers in the mm -hmm. uh, industry, and automation, how do those come together to enable us to do things in a better, more efficient way in the future? And on that same theme, uh, we had 362 abstracts uh, submitted for papers, and we selected 90, which would be presented in 18 different sessions over the three-day event. In addition to that, we have 115 uh, leading exhibitors in the industry showcasing their latest uh, products and services. So altogether, it's a good blend of technology and new products, uh, new services that should enable all the participants to come away uh, with something that can benefit their operations. It's a very impressive uh, number of abstracts submitted, even in these kind of difficult times, and a very large ex ex exhibition. I think that may be close to a record for us. Uh, not yes. entirely sure. The, the number of abstracts submitted, 364, that is uh, the second to the largest uh, number, I believe it was 390 a few mm -hmm. years ago. So we were very pleased uh, with the industry somewhat in a little bit of an uncertain time right now. We're very pleased to see the uh, number of abstracts that came in and the amount of attention that this conference is, is being given. The conference is considered the premier drilling conference in the industry. and. Uh, we have uh, over 1,200 uh, uh, registrants so far, and that number should, I hope, creep up to be 1,400, 1,500, which is typical for this conference. Okay. So uh, what are do you think of some of the high points that you and the advisory committee work together on the plenary sessions? We've got technology outpacing competency, question mark. Uh, yes. Yeah, some of the high points there, uh, we should have a very good debate because in each of these uh, plenary sessions, you'll have representatives from the drilling contractor, from the operator, and the service company, all debating these issues as to what, for example, technology, is it really delivering uh, in the operations as we had hoped it would deliver? All these uh, modern rigs that have, that have been built have high degrees of uh, automation built into them, computers, uh, and can the people keep up with this technology? Can, it, it, has it uh, really paid off for the investment that's been made? So that would be debated on the first day. And that will dovetail into the second day where we'll talk about uh, people, uh, young professionals, and how these young professionals will come along and use that technology in the future. And how do we pass along the knowledge of the past to these people so that we, were, we now have technology that's rapidly developing and young people are so computer savvy and literate that uh, how do we take that, develop all the drilling, develop with that all the drilling practices in the past and make sure it comes together in a very harmonious, efficient way. So uh, the future uh, is always about people and what tools can we provide them. And that takes us into automation. Uh, and the theme of that is automation, pipe dream to reality, ah. and practicality. Yeah. <laughs> from pipe dream to practicality. And so some people say, we'll have that lively debate again among the, the three different groups as to, well, has automation really delivered for us? 
has a, has a jump ahead too fast. We all know that automation, or maybe a better word might be mechanization, mm -hmm. is out there. It's happening every day from automobiles to various forms of transportation, airplanes. We're bringing that technology into the oil field. And how can we make sure that we invest in it wisely and make good use of automation? Okay. Well, very good. It's going to be an excellent conference. Um, looking forward to hearing as many papers as possible. My only regret is that I can't be in three sessions at once most of the time. Uh, as I said, this conference is being held here in New Orleans, and there's a certain degree of uh, appropriateness there, if that's not coining too weird of a word. Um, as everyone, I'm sure, knows, uh, 2005, the city of New Orleans was, was just devastated by Hurricane Katrina, and it's now struggling to rebuild itself. Not too dissimilarly, uh, the, the global E&P business and the drilling industry was uh, hit by a hammer of economic recession that damaged not only our industry, but also threatened to shake down the entire world financial system. So together, we're both in the situation of coming into a new renaissance, and we look forward to things being better again. Thanks a lot. I appreciate, Bob, you taking the time for us. And thanks to all of you for tuning into this webcast. Uh, I'm Mike Kilalea. Keep turning to the right and real safe. Thanks. <laughs>